on the Kasawija stretch and behind me um, is the hill. I can see a number of buildings on the hill and this Weja area specifically uh, has been, uh, I mean, one of the subjects of discussion any time it rains. And this morning's own is not an exception because the same situation happened again where there was some form of mudslide and uh, that actually um, eroded into the main road causing traffic here. It took the intervention of some young men in the area, about 15 of them, trying their possible best with their shovel and spade, trying to take off the debris from the road to make way for vehicles to move. This has actually caused some very heavy vehicular traffic on this particular stretch. If you can see far behind, the traffic stretches for more than a kilometer. That is compelling some other vehicles that are moving towards Accra to go the opposite direction. And that is also one of the things here the drivers are worried about. When my worry is with highways authority, this is a simple uh, 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 work that they can just bring some caterpillar to come and carry all these sands away or permanently deal with this situation that keep recurring. We don't know what is happening in this country. Simple things that we can solve. We are making life difficult for everybody. Our road, because of this little erosion, so Kaswa, we are facing a lot of problems here. From here, Kaswa to uh, uh, Accra is just about 15 minutes. By the time, we take two hours because of this. That is a passenger in a vehicle expressing disgust about the fact that government of, after government have deliberately ignored this situation. They feel this situation shouldn't be a subject of discussion today. The heap of sand that has eroded onto the road is quite thick to the extent that it would need some form of excavator or earth moving machine to scoop off this debris from the road to be able to make the road more trouble for motorists on this road today. If it will be left to these young men who are putting their efforts together, it's going to, I mean, this traffic situation is going to get worse tomorrow being Monday, a working day. And you know, a number of people who went to Cape Coast, Takradi, are now heading back towards Accra to return to work. Let's talk to the man who has been on this ground. This is his comfort zone. He's covered stories all the way from Cape Coast down to this Gaon South municipality. His name is Calvin Stete. I was here last week to do a similar report with regard to last week Saturday and then just today being Sunday, just a week, just a week, and there's still the same problem. You know, when I came in, the people were actually reluctant to talk because when they feel that the media has portrayed the issue but nothing is happening. So it tells you how frustrated the people around this area are because uh, they believe that authorities can do, in, can, can do a lot of things to support them here. Uh, putting up big culverts culvert that will help uh, the, the rainwater to flow when it rains and they are not doing that. So they are actually worried that uh, such a situation is happening to them regularly. My name is Fred Duo reporting for City News.